Joining me tonight to talk about how the change of ownership may impact journalism from San Diego to Temecula is Dean Nelson, director of the journalism program at Point Loma Nazarene University. Dean, thanks so much for being here My today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Doug Manchester now owners and John Lynch now own two of the largest newspapers in the region. Mm -hmm. How do you think this will affect the delivery of news to Southern California? Well, it has the potential of being a much bigger reach, obviously, because uh, they'll be able to consolidate some business and maybe production uh, kinds of things. Uh, advertising could be a bigger reach, which means then they could expand the kind of coverage that they do. Whether, whether that happens or not remains to be seen. It could be. Now, uh, Doug Manchester has been very open and aggressive about his conservative agenda. He has said, you know, we are cheerleaders and champions of San Diego. He publishes uh, editorials uh, alongside of that agenda on the front page and said he will do so in the North County Times. Uh, how does this affect news in an objective and balanced way? Well, the editorial pages have always, or at least traditionally in, in recent history, been separate from the news coverage. It, it, it m makes it, uh, it muddies it a little bit when you do it as a wraparound to the the front page of the news section stating what your uh, editorial position is. I hope that readers are astute enough to realize these are editorials, these are opinions, and it doesn't necessarily uh, affect the actual news. It, it, you know, it could, but I, I, I hope it doesn't. The North County Times, Lee Enterprises has said that we are a profitable paper, which is unusual in this day of age when mm -hmm. there's so much fragmentation of media outlets. Is this simply just a good business move? Oh, it's a brilliant business move. Manchester's a smart guy. He, he didn't make his money just by you know playing dumb. Um, so to buy another paper and to be able to get maybe a bigger advertising uh, kind of dollar uh, you know, the, the, the newspaper business model is broken, and he's trying to make some sort of uh, money at local uh, newspapers. I think it's, from a business perspective, it's absolutely brilliant. Well, he's certainly a businessman. He's a developer, mm -hmm. Manchester right. uh, Lynch, a former radio executive. Now, they just bought the UT mm -hmm. less than a year ago. They started UTTV. Mm -hmm. Now they've bought the North County Times. Mm -hmm. Is this too much too soon? Well, I think the answer to that will be in how you gauge the quality of what they do, the quality of the product. Is the, the journalism being done really well? Is UTTV a professional um, kind of television uh, outlet? And um, if, the, if they expand too quickly, the quality of their product will not be very good. So to, to be able to say, is it too much too soon, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be too much too soon as far as debt goes. because right. they're, Financially, they're, it, it won't exactly. be, but as far as news, actual news, uh, what's getting out there objectively, we don't have a whole lot of uh, time left, but I just want to say, historically, this isn't the first time that somebody with a lot of money has decided that they're going to push the agenda of a Oh, paper. no, no. This country has a long history of media uh, moguls uh, that have owned big swaths of, uh, of, of news media. Hearst, the, Murdoch. Exactly. Uh, McCormick, Pulitzer, all of these. Nor is it the first time that someone has been really strident on their editorial page against a particular politician, president, whatever. Um, this, is, this is actually, we're, we're going back to the future. We are going back to the future. Dean Nelson, thank you so much for talking with My us My pleasure. Today.